we asked Josie Diado to say a few words about her experience as a first-time marcher. Hi, my name is Josephine Diado, and I am a first-time and solo marcher here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. And you know, this has been uh, definitely an experience that I will never forget. And I'm so glad that I am part of this incredible fundraising and awareness platform for those who have kidney disease. I didn't think that I would be able to do a hundred kilometers march, but I did. I did it. And you know, there's a lot of talk about what a hero is. Uh, heroes don't always wear capes. Sometimes a hero is just an average, ordinary person who had the courage to say, I'll try. Those are the kidney marchers out there and I kudos to all of you. This was definitely something, a journey that I will never forget in my life. And I'm so honored to have been part of this incredible um, journey. Um, you know, at first it was very hard for me to get motivated, but I joined the uh, Kidney March training Facebook page and that helped me a lot. It was uh, very interactive and engaging and the posts and stories by other marches moved me and I was inspired by their struggles and their victories and um, also whenever I post something on Facebook I would get positive feedback from my friends and family and that got me even more motivated and I also remember my why, why I was doing it in the first place. Um, what I really liked about the march is even though we were doing it virtually, seeing everyone's posts on the page, it was like I too was marching with them along the way. Some of the highlights for me was sharing the experiences, photos and videos, and I thought it was a great way to communicate and to connect with one another. Uh, the Kidney March has given me a sense of accomplishment at the end of each day. Some of us you know, have different goals, different training methods, different start and stop locations. But you know what, we all had one focus and that was to march. And I'm so glad to be you know, part of that uh, community. Who did I march for? Why did I march? And what are my hopes for all of those living with kidney disease? Uh, I march for my husband, whom we have lost to um, stage 4 renal carcinoma. And this year, 2021, was the 10 year of his passing. And I thought I'd do something different to commemorate his, um, his uh, death anniversary. And so when I told my kids that I was going to join um, my friend Elwyn to do the 100 kilometers, and they're like, what? <laughs> A hundred kilometers and you know what they were very supportive and I said to them you know as long as I have you guys by my side that and I know that I would be able to do it and so they joined me as well and they were very supportive so um, there I was marching on and each time I you know I put a step out there I remember my husband and those people especially uh, some of my friends that are struggling with this disease I do remember them and I know my friend Evelyn uh, had lost uh, her loved ones as well from this disease and one thing that I can say is um, never lose hope it is okay to be scared because it is scary and it is okay to cry everything is okay but giving up is not an option and failure is not an option and if there's anything i'd like to say to encourage other kidney marchers out there in the future uh, you know what this is a great opportunity to challenge yourself especially when you believe that you are doing something worthwhile to help others in making a difference it doesn't matter how hard it is uh, heartfelt gratitude to everyone who sponsored me, uh, who walked with me and followed my journey. I hope that I get to do this again next year.